Hey guys, today we are gonna test out what these camera systems are capable of. If you don't know me yet, my name is Sam from Worlds.com and today we are gonna compare the camera systems of the Galaxy S21 Ultra, the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. We are going to test them in terms of video and photo performance in daytime and nighttime conditions, the different modes like portrait, macro, zoom and slow motion feature, as well as the autofocus and sound performance. As you might have noticed already, we are hosting an international giveaway in collaboration with Gadget Byte and Mike O'Brien, where we will give away not just one, but three smartphones, an iPhone 12 Pro Max, a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and a OnePlus 9 Pro. Just click the link in the description and follow the instructions to win a brand new smartphone. Alright, are you ready to see which of these three phones has the best camera setup? Let's start with a video comparison. At first, you will see a video shot on the ultra-wide camera followed by the wide camera on all three phones. The iPhone appears as the brightest of them and the Xiaomi with tons of contrast the darkest. The 12 Pro Max does not blow out the whites, well, maybe a little bit if you look at my socks and shoes, but it does let my skin tone look really pale. The Mi 11 Ultra is a little bit too dark in the darker parts of the image. Other than that, it looks pretty accurate. The Galaxy actually has the best color rendering, except that it tends to be a little bluish. By the way, we recorded everything in 4K 30 frames. So in terms of sharpness, we have to give kudos to the iPhone and Mi 11 Ultra, which are a little sharper than the Galaxy. Okay, let's have a look at the different cameras now. We started off with the ultra wide and the wide camera again. And what we said before gets even more obvious. The iPhone is just too bright and the Mi has way too much contrast, which is why it looks so dark. This was a really cloudy day and a mix between the iPhone and the Galaxy would probably be the closest to reality. So the Galaxy is also a little bit too dark, but it still has the best color rendering. Zoomed in three times, the iPhone definitely has the best quality, while the Galaxy feels a little bit blurry and Xiaomi's high contrast makes it lose out on details. Let's max out the zoom capability while shooting video on all devices. Although the Galaxy is pretty shaky, like seen before, in terms of zoom capability and quality it is ahead of its competition. The iPhone zoom is just nothing spectacular and it also looked completely burnt out. Same with Xiaomi, which is quite pixelated. By the way, we can't really explain as why the Galaxy was so shaky in 3 times and max zoom. It was a little bit windy, but it shouldn't have been that unsteady. Next up, the stabilization feature. First, a short run with a feature turned off. As you can see, the Mi is actually pretty steady, while the iPhone and the Galaxy are shaking a lot. We have to remark that the iPhone features image stabilization for video, but you can't adjust it. And now, with the feature turned on. Unfortunately, the iPhone couldn't hold up compared to the other two, which were actually both equally steady. Or were they? Let's see that one more time. If you focus on the buildings in the background, you will see the little jump the Galaxy does with each step. So, Xiaomi definitely has the best result in this category. What if you really want to go close to an object? Well, it seems that every manufacturer has its own approach on the macro feature. With the Mi keeping the whole flower sharpened, while the Galaxy is softening everything that's not directly in focus. The main difference is, you can go way closer to the objects with the Galaxy than with the iPhone. The Mi is pretty much in the middle of them both. Since we all know time is money, it is very important that cameras have a fast, reliable autofocus. Let's see how they perform when something suddenly appears in the frame. Apple and Xiaomi are pretty much on the same page showing equally great results. But the Mi did have problems recognizing the background ones, so that's a small minus. The Galaxy is definitely slower than the other two, although not that much. Now let's check out the slow motion feature. The iPhone is able to work at 240 frames per second in 1080p. The Galaxy is capable of 960 frames per second in 720p. The Mi 11 Ultra tops all that by being able to work at 1920 frames per second in 1080p. And of course, no birds were harmed in this video. From the pigeons, let's move on to the portrait. I guess it is pretty obvious that all of them are not dealing too well with this feature. In Apple's case, that's not really their fault, because they actually do not feature video portrait mode and we had to download a third-party software from the App Store to receive a comparable result. In the case of the other two, well, at first we thought that the Mi was doing a bit better because it had less edge blurring around my hair. But at second sight we noticed that the Mi actually had a ton of problems differentiate between my face and the background. Samsung software actually does the best job, but there's still a lot of room for improvement. 
Okay, so this is the front camera. And this is actually the sound of the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. All right, that's enough for the video comparison. Now, let's switch to photography. In this category, we are mostly focusing on how good the software is working and the algorithm is recognizing what's going on in the picture. Of course, all of them have their unique color palette. But this is something that comes down to taste and personal preferences. So in the first two examples, all three contestants did a really good job. Really nothing to complain about at all. In the third example, if you really look closely, there are some blurred edges. Besides that, the iPhone and the Galaxy are recognizing protruding hairs quite well, while the Xiaomi is blurring them out completely. In the fourth picture, we can see the first real software errors. The Galaxy and the iPhone are really having some problems with the branches here. They are completely blurring out some parts of the image and sharpening others. The Mi on the other hand does a little bit better, beside the pink tone of my face. And in the last example, our cameras are struggling once more with a plant. The thin tricks are very hard to recognize for the software of any of the phones. The Galaxy doesn't do a good job, but still has the best results. Overall, if we had to say which of the three cameras has the most pleasing results, especially for my face, it's most likely the iPhone. Next up is the front camera portrait mode, where in my opinion all of them do a very good job. I guess the major difference is the soft focus, which is used on the Mi, the iPhone and the Galaxy actually look pretty similar, although the iPhone seems to display a tiny bit more details. Which of the looks you like more is on you to decide. So far so good. Let's check out the different cameras of each phone. The ultra wide on all three looks pretty much the same except for the situation. The Galaxy definitely has the most, which leads to richer colors, while the iPhone has the least but is also the most natural looking. And the Mi is once again a bit too dark. Same can be said about the wide camera and the pictures in 3x zoom, although the Galaxy once again has a bluish cast. At 10 times zoom, you can see the iPhone losing a lot of sharpness and details, while the other two still look pretty good. I guess that is the difference between a mediocre digital zoom and a good hybrid or optical zoom lens. Although you have to say that the Mi has way too much contrast and is therefore very dark. The exact same can be seen at 30 times zoom. Since the iPhone's maximum zoom is at 12 times, its picture had to be adjusted in post and it's really not comparable anymore. Quality-wise, the Galaxy and the Mi are in the same league, but Galaxy just looks a lot better. Same goes for a 120 times zoom, which is the max zoom from the Mi. And although the Galaxy's limit is at 100 times zoom and the rest had to be cropped in, its picture looks actually a little bit better than the one from Xiaomi. In terms of the macro feature, the Galaxy is the one that can get the closest to an object, while the iPhone needs the farthest distance to be able to focus. The Mi on the other hand is somewhere in between them. Next up are a couple more image samples for you. By the way, let us know in the comments below if you figured out where we are based. Alright, let's head over to pictures taken at night time. The following pictures are taken in portrait mode. As you can see, the Mi is the brightest of them, but also adds tons of grain to the image. The iPhone is the darkest, but also the sharpest. The Galaxy is somewhere in between, but closer to the iPhone's image. In the last image of this portrait mode series, all three are not really doing a good job. Before we show you the nighttime video comparison, here are also some sample images from the white camera. The main difference that we noticed are in terms of the white balance, but see for yourself. The first video was recorded on the ultra wide camera. The Mi 11 Ultra actually has the best results with the most stable and sharpest image. The Galaxy has some weird flares, but does overall an acceptable job. The iPhone really falls apart here. It is once again really shaky and looks more pixelated grainy than the other cameras. It gets better when switching to the wide camera. All three do a similar good job. The differences are again in terms of the white balance. Alright, so since each camera system performs differently in different scenarios and with the different modes, it depends on what you are looking for in a smartphone. Each system has its strengths and flaws and I hope we were able to show you the most important features that might help you with your decision. 
If so, let us know in the comments below which camera you like the most. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Till then, take care and see you soon.